The amount of wet weather and humidity this summer has really created a perfect storm for mosquitoes. West Nile virus has now been detected in a total of nine Connecticut towns. And that includes East Haven. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina is live there with all the details. Hector. Well, of the nine towns where West Nile was detected, three of them are in New Haven County, including Wallingford and Brantford to go along with here in East Haven. But tonight, the East Shore District Health Department is reminding you of ways you can still protect yourself and mitigate the amount of mosquitoes around your home. Alexander McDonald works at a farm across the street from his Branford home on Hosley Avenue. He spends a lot of time outside, so this was his reaction when we told him a group of mosquitoes gathered at a trap site on his road tested positive for the West Nile virus. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> that's definitely scary, especially with all the rain falling and stuff. He adds that wet weather combined with the woods and lake near his home create a hot spot for mosquitoes. And there's quite a bit of mosquito, but if you're out at night, you'll see them. Shannon Prindle runs a daycare just over three miles west in East Haven, another area where the West Nile virus was detected. Yeah, that's pretty scary, actually. So I'll have to let parents know. So what can Shannon, Alexander, and yourself do to stay protected? The East Shore District Health Department recommends minimizing time spent outdoors around dusk and dawn, use mosquito repellent containing DEET, and eliminate standing water on your property and emptying out any plastic pools, garbage cans, or anything that collects water. The health department also funds a larvicide program that uses an insecticide to help control the mosquito population in East Haven and Branford. Prindle hopes her methods of mitigation will help protect herself and her daycare. We use bug spray and we use, um, you know, we have the little stickers that are like bug deterrent, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, something to think about now. Now, it is important to note there haven't been any human cases of West Nile virus detected anywhere across Connecticut this season. Now, samples are collected every 10 days. If you want to keep up to date to find out if there is West Nile virus detected in your neighborhood and how you can protect yourself, you can go on to our website at WFSB.com. In East Haven tonight, Hector Molina, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Hector, thank you.